Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some Sky Factory for episode 39. Now, for the last couple of episodes, we have been trying desperately to get these Applied Energistics Spatial Pylons to work. We successfully managed to capture a Deep Dark Fortress within our 128 disc that we have uh, in our inventory here, but we have not been able to successfully recreate it in the overworld. And I asked you guys last episode if you knew what I was doing wrong, and a bunch of people piped up with some ideas. A lot of people seem to focus on the big button, which uh, I guess is uh, understandable because a Material Energy 3, which kind of used Spatial Pylons a lot, did use the big button. But I can clarify, guys, you do not need to use this big button in any way whatsoever. Uh, it's not even from Applied Energy Sticks. It's from Open Blocks. has nothing to do with the Spatial Pylons. You do not need this big button at all. You also don't need to put the lever or anything onto the Spatial uh, IO port itself. You just have to give it a redstone signal. And when it came to Material Energy 3, the creator decided that the big button would be a cool way to do it. You do not need it but what you do need to do is make sure that when you recreate the uh, sort of spatial area that you need to make sure that it's the exact same size like to the to the cube it's the exact same so uh, in this case we had to make it exactly 49 this way by 51 that way by 28 tall and we had to make sure that the io port this guy over here was in exactly the same place so before we were trying to do it down there wasn't going to work you have to make sure it's here you have to put the disc in and you have to flick the lever and voila, look at that. <laughs> so I'm not too sure why it's multicolored, but uh, that was a problem we had when we first, well, I don't even know if it's a problem. We uh, we saw this when we first like uh, trapped ourselves in the dimension. For some reason, it turned multicolored. I'm not quite sure why. The bricks just just, just changed at some point, which is pretty odd. Uh, we could do it. We could spend time exploring this thing. Uh, we'll have a little look inside, but I don't really think there's going to be a whole lot of stuff in here that we're actually going to need because we pretty much have uh, everything we're going to need to, uh, to complete this pack at this point. So we'll have a little sneak around. Do we find any chests? No. No. Okay. Well, what we can do now, though, guys, is we can go ahead and fly them back out of here. We can open our achievements book and we can successfully tick off. Use a special storage to transport a fortress from the deep dark to the overworld. Done. Nice. Okay. So, we are now down to our last couple of quests. We have uh, Killer Wither that spawned out of a lucky block. We have uh, the Trophy Room quest for Tier 2, which we still haven't finished. And to fill a deep storage unit to max capacity. Now, this one over here is a bit of an odd one because we almost have enough cobblestone to completely fill a deep storage unit to max capacity. If we have a look uh, in here, we have 1.87 billion cobblestone which is a heck of a lot of cobblestone and a deep storage unit can hold two billion now the only problem is that do we have a crescent hammer we don't i'll make a new one the only problem is that at the moment all of our cobblestone is being distributed uh, among about 30 ish deep storage units which is not what we want we don't the quest isn't to have two billion cobblestone it's to fill one deep storage unit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take away all of the other deep storage units like this. Now, the downside to this is that uh, all of these deep storage units are going to go ahead and take up their own individual slots because they uh, they do actually retain all of their cobblestone, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But uh, as I said just now, it does mean that uh, it takes up a single slot every single time. So I'll go ahead and take all these down. And what that's going to mean is that all of the cobblestone that is generated from here on out, although it's going to take a little bit of time to get from, say, here all the way down to this deep storage unit, which is the one deep storage unit we are going to leave, this one here. It does, however, mean that all of the cobblestone is going to go there. And if I leave it running for probably what's going to be a couple of days, because two billion cobblestone takes a while to make. So we're going to leave that running. We're going to leave this one here. And although it's going to be pretty slow, it should mean that uh, all of the cobblestone goes there. And we should be able to effectively get ourselves uh, two billion cobblestone all within one deep storage unit. You'll see, uh, even if we look now, we'll probably have a lot less cobblestone that we had before just because we've taken away quite a few of these let's have a, uh, a quick look here yeah, see, we lost about 700,000, uh, 700 million cobblestone right there. It's just sat in our inventory right now, which is kind of insane, to say the least. Let's get rid of all these. We are going to need these in a second for another quest, but we can hide them for now. And what I'll probably do as well, uh, let's go ahead and organize. I'm actually going to get a chest of all things. Uh, but this led on into the game, and we're using chests. Good old-fashioned chests. So what I'll probably do uh, as well between this episode and next is uh, go ahead and take these out one by one, throw them down put a transfer node on them and just try and transfer everything inside this deep storage unit 
into this deep storage unit so we can just like slowly begin to, to move everything over. Once we do that, we will pretty much be, uh, be kind of close as well because like you saw before, we were pretty much almost there on 2 billion already. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off removing all these guys and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little while later and all of these are taken down. We have a couple of them left in our inventory. So what I'm going to do uh, real quick is get a uh, upgrade that allows us to turn our normal chest into an iron chest, which is, I believe, this guy right here, which is fairly easy to make. We can go ahead and grab you. We have a lot of iron. Uh, we have 115,000 iron. I'm not quite sure where all that came from. Uh, if we go ahead and have a look down um, at our deep storage unit that's holding the iron, we only have about 40,000 over here. So we have like another flipping 70,000 just hiding around somewhere and I honestly have no idea where that is. I don't know if it's just sort of sitting in our um, sitting in our ME system somewhere on one of these discs or, or what but I'm not gonna complain. I like having a hundred plus thousand iron. Uh, so yeah, that's that's just a thing that I thought was kind of weird. So uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and look in our quest book again. And one quest that we can fairly easily, or should I say a part of a quest that we can fairly easily tick off now, is this one at the bottom of here, which is to display one of each single, double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, sextuple, septuple, and octuple compressed cobblestone. Because uh, as you remember, if you watched last episode, we now have every single one of those. So... Uh, we're going to need uh, some item frames. Do we have any item frames? We do not. So that uh, we can go ahead and fairly easily make some item frames. I'm pretty sure we have enough leather. So one, two, three, four. Three. I would have enough sticks up. But uh, again, fairly easy stuff. We can go ahead and do this. I cannot believe, you know, that we have uh, so many hundreds of thousands of iron, but that our one weakness is our lack of wood. We hardly have any of the stuff, which is pretty, pretty insane when you think about it. Uh, let's go over to you. One more should do the trick. Boom. And boom, and boom. Nice. So we'll take that, we'll type in cobblestone, and we will take one off. I don't think it required, did it require single? It did. Okay, so we need, uh, let's have a look, cobble. We need some single compressed, which is just, come on, cobble. There we go. Uh, oh, we don't have any single compressed. Okay. Uh, all right. T double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, sectuple, septuple, and octuple. We can go and get our single and our octuple from some of our um, cyclic assemblies over here. Uh, I originally was going to just leave these running, just to, just because why not, just to produce some cobblestone. But uh, then I kind of remembered that we do, in fact, need m most of our cobblestone to fill that deep storage unit. So uh, I've gone ahead and turned it off. So we have single, double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, sectuple. Uh, oh, no, we need sectuple. Okay. I think that's somewhere over here. Quadruple, quintuple, sectuple. Nice. All right. So we can go ahead and back now, and we can start to uh, display all of these, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. And then after this, the next quest that I want to do is another section of the tier two uh, trophy room quest, which we'll get to in just a second. But before then, let's go ahead and do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. And then we'll get rid of all of these. Boom. And we'll take all these down one at a time, put them in order because, you know, organization is nice. Here we go. One. Oh, <laughs> not what I wanted to do at all. Do we have. I don't think we have a pickaxe, you know. Let's have a look. Pick. Oh, we do. We've got a ton of these pickaxes. All right, let's try that. Let's try that again, shall we? Thank you. Does that... Wait, what? What happened to our item frame? Let me try that again. If I... Okay, there we go. What? Why? Why Why you break like this? Why you... Why you break? Okay, let's put these back up. We have one... I saw the other one fly off into a corner there. Let's grab you. Come on now. So we have to shift, right click, okay? Still shifting, right click, right click, right... I, I don't even know how. I am quite clearly still shifting. Um, okay, that's single. Oh, I've got to move all these over. Oh, come on. All right. Let's take this back. Where's our flipping, flipping thing gone? Our item frame. Where's it hiding? I completely forgot we could fly, actually. Um, where's it gone? That one, that one's just, it's, it's just gone. It's just gone. All right, we'll put that there. They're not in order at all now, but we can go ahead and make one more, and we'll start our last one, and that will be done. That will be uh, as good as done. So let's take you, do this, boom, boom, and boom. Really? <laughs> really? Really, really, really? Really? Thank you. Jeez, that would have been annoying. All right. Come on, we can do this. We can do this first try this time. What? Why? Why, why, why? Why is that a thing? Can I not, can you not display this? There we go. Was that so hard? 
No. Okay. Right. So we got that done. The next step that I want to go ahead and complete is this one. Uh, a few up, and that is to get a player head. So I was a bit confused as to how we were going to do that because we don't actually have uh, any heads of a player in our inventory. We have a golden head, which I'm not quite sure what that's used for. But what we can do is we can go ahead and grab this guy here, which has beheading three on it. We can grab ourselves an autonomous activator, uh, which we're going to have to make because we don't have one in our A system. We can go ahead and grab one of these. Boom. And, oh, we're going to, ah, again, see, the wood, the wood. We don't have enough. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to, I don't think we need any more logs for anything. So I'm just going to do that. And, and then we can go ahead and make a chest, a piston, a pneumatic server, and an autonomous activator. Nice. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw this down. Oh, I don't know. Um, um, let's throw it down like here. <laughs> Why not? And then we're going to make sure it's set to left click. Um, and then we're going to throw a sword in it. So it attacks us. And we're going to have to take off our armor because we are far too strong uh, with it on. Do we have uh, Do we have enough stuff to make another chest? We do. Let's take our stuff. Actually, we have chests, don't we? Yeah, look at this. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, we don't really have much space uh, in these chests. Let's make another chest. <laughs> let's take um, another one of these and throw you down like here. We'll dump all our stuff in and we'll take off our armor because we're not going to get killed uh, with our armor on like that. And we should. That should like, maybe one shot us. Yeah, they won't shot us. Okay, does that drop stuff? I'm not even sure if it did. We got a gravestone, which contains a head. Look at that. <laughs> what? Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we might have to. <laughs> we might have to turn off the uh, the autonomous activator if we ever want that to uh, to stop killing us. Uh, let's. let's Let's try that again. Um, okay, let's 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 take you out of there, please. Stop stop doing that. But we got to play ahead. Look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and break this again. We got two player heads, uh, and again we'll take all our stuff back. Throw these guys back on. There we go. Uh, I'll take you, 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 and you, and you, and you. <laughs> They're just a oh we have what oh we had a crescent hammer. Okay, well. Well, there you go then, I guess. All right, let's throw you back in there. Let me have a quick check, actually, of this. Does it say... Um, it doesn't say how we have to start. It just says, displaying our trophy room uh, in the following way. Um, item frames, armor standard, drying racks, etc. Um, it says etc. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to put it down. I'm just going to place it down, like, uh, here. We'll place it down above. Do we want it? Can we put it right above? Look at that. There we go. We'll place it down right above our our, our walrus friend here. He he likes having my head on top of him. It's it's perfect. It's a perfect match. All right. So we are getting pretty close actually now. We've done we've done two of the uh, the three in here. We got a player head. Uh, actually, we've done three. We've got a, a treasure car right at the top, which is a bit of a sneaky one. Not quite sure why the the dash is up here. I feel like it should be over here. We've done that. We got a player head. Uh, we still need one of each monster head. We still need twenty unique open blocks trophies, which I think is probably going to be the hardest one out of all these. And we still need a full set of Manulian tools, which should be fairly easy. We have twenty in here from our lucky blocks. We have quite a few in here just from everything and i'm going to assume that when it says a full set uh, if you type in man yulian i'm assuming it means everything from the pickaxe down to the manulian arrow basically everything that is like a full tool i'm not sure if the arrow counts but i'm going to make it anyway i'm going to make all of this set here and in order to do that i think we might need a little bit more of the manulian which is fine because we have a bunch of cobalt and ardite for which we can do this uh oh no we can do is it a full uh, crafting grid no. Uh, middle missing? Yeah, there we go. Okay. We can do this. And this. And again, we're just going to throw all this stuff into the smeltery. And, well, when this is finished, we'll throw it in the smeltery. And then what we'll do next episode is we'll go ahead and make on the... We'll start on the Manulian tools. We'll probably finish them as well fairly easily. We'll also go ahead and I'll probably make a new sword next episode with uh, with looting on to try and get some of the open blocks trophies. We'll, of course, use our sword with the heading to get the monster trophies. We'll see if our deep, st uh, deep storage unit is filled to max capacity. Hopefully it will be. And, uh, and hopefully we'll just have, like, so much cobblestone it's unreal. Uh, at which point I might even throw down the rest of the deep storage units again. And we'll probably finish things off by opening 
opening up a bunch of lucky blocks to see if we can find one more wither. Uh, I mean, last time we did that, we opened like three stacks of lucky blocks and got not a single wither in there. As opposed to like the first time we opened lucky blocks down, uh, all the way down actually, in this little room that we haven't used in such a long time. Um, we put them in here and we got like a wither straight away and it was, it was terrible. Uh, flipping deck, that was, that was a long time ago. Alright, are we done with this? We are, let's go ahead and throw you in there and we'll throw some of those in. We'll finish that off. Oh, we got, oh, I forgot we got tons of space. Alright, we'll finish, we'll wait for those to finish and we'll finish this stuff up next episode. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like. It's been a bit of a short one, but I kind of like round even numbers and I'd like to finish this on episode 40. So again, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like and I will see you guys next time for the last episode of Sky Factory. Bye!